Hello, how are you doing today? I'm here to teach you how to install a sub and amps in a 2019 Chevy Cruze LS. Uh, this is a sedan model and it does not have any sort of amplifiers or anything other than a factory stereo. Uh, it has some similarities with the 2017 Chevy Cruze LS, so we're going to kind of um, go with uh, go with that information um, since that's what I was able to find. I haven't been able to find very much on the 2019. But if you go to the 12 voltcom you'll find where um, MGET74 posted the uh, correct color of the wires to use and um, was also pretty spot on about what was positive and negative. So your left rear is a green and a green black wire and your right rear is a white and a blue black wire for your positive and negatives. Now trying to do a, a remote turn on is a little bit tricky with this. Um, I do recommend going to Walmart and picking up a Skosh adapter for, to convert your high, high input to low input and that will also hook into your, where your speaker wires hook into for your uh, power. So it takes a constant power and it also provides you a rim line which will activate and deactivate your amp based on the audio input go, coming through your speakers to that adapter. So that pretty much takes care of that, of that problem. So let's get to it. Hello, uh, I know that when I first did my install, I didn't really show exactly how to do or take these uh, panels off. Okay, but I'm going to start from the back seat of your car onto this panel here. And what you're going to do is just lift straight up and this panel is going to pull off. There's one clip right inside of here. You also have one clip right here. So you're going to pull up right here until that clip dislodges. And then there's two clips here on the side over here on this uh, B pillar. Okay. Um, don't worry. When you uh, end up taking this off, you're not going to end up setting off your airbags because uh, they're not attached to that panel. But for removal of this panel that is connected to the one that goes all the way up to the driver's side kick area you're gonna pull this out that way so you're gonna grab from the bottom and pull out and there's two clips that are gonna dislodge from there from there you're going to lift straight up here all the way down until it dis the last uh, clip is right here and it all would disconnect now the trick to taking this um, panel out is that you're going to have to push it out here. Um, the easiest thing to do is move your seat all the way forward and then you're going to have to bring up the back of this panel okay all the way up over here to almost right up here in this area just so this rotates and is able to come out of there and you got to put it back in the same reverse way. After you get that panel out, all you have to do with this A pillar, or B pillar, should I say, is pull from the very bottom right here, outwards. So pull it out towards the seat, and there's going to be, I believe, a set of four clips. One here, one there, and then two up here. And um, it's going to come out. And then from there, all you do is you push back in and uh, put it back together. And then uh, shortly right after this, I will show you where to find the wires. And the passenger side is done the same exact way. And it'll be found inside of that panel right there. Same thing is on this side or this panel. Alright, let's get to it. 
For this portion, uh, I'm going to show you how to do some things. So basically you pull up here and there's one clip. But uh, here we're going to go and show you where the wires are located. They're located inside of this plastic tube here in the twisted pairs. And they're the only set of twisted wires. So Chevy was good enough to do that for us. And uh, from here, make sure your seat belts are buckled. It makes taking uh, that A pillar off a lot easier and putting it on a lot easier as well. So also right over here, do not mess with this set of wires over here because uh, that I believe that's your airbag stuff. All right, now that you get the panels off uh, for the B pillar, uh, you're going to take a look inside and you'll see this black uh, sheath and it'll conceal a twisted pair of green and a green black wire. Those are your speaker wires that you'll need to splice into in order to run your wires back to the trunk. You would use these red clamps to properly splice into your wires without having to cut anything. Here's a view from the passenger side of the vehicle. Uh, as you can see, there's a white and a blue black wire. Those are your speaker wires and you're going to splice into it the same way as you did the other side. One cool thing about this car is that the battery's in the back seat. And as you can see here, I just ran the ground to the battery and I just put it on that top bolt. I didn't even have to undo the battery. Same thing for the power side. All I did was I put it in the top bolt and I didn't have to undo anything. And I just coiled the wires right underneath. And uh, see the speaker wires come in from each side on each edge. And I ran those under the seat like uh, I shown earlier. All right, when it comes to installing your rim wire, the easiest way I found was to run it through the front uh, fuse box, but I didn't want to modify my vehicle at all. I didn't want to make any cuts or take any wires and cut them or anything. So what I found was when I bought a cheap set of 20 amp fuses that, I mean, they feel a little flimsy and loose, but they work just the same, just as the stock one is pictured here. Um, the main thing is, is we're looking at these metal holes here at the bottom and the one on the left, which is the aftermarket 20 amp is that, uh, it has bigger holes on the, the back near the metal posts. Unlike the one on the factory here on the right that, uh, you know, is a, is a tight set. What we're going to do is we're going to take a connector like this. We're going to chop off one of these ends with these cutters here. And um, we're going to put one inside of here like that. So you just take your cutters, cover only one end of, of these prongs, and cut an edge off. From there, you're going to find whichever one of these areas are bigger and you're just going to insert the uh, connector like this. From there you're going to put in your rim wire and use some wire crimpers and crimp your rim wire into this. Bend it off over to the right and then from there, you're going to insert this into your, your vehicle after you uh, run your wire. And this will provide a, uh, um, an accessory on and off. It, it goes in the, uh, the shifter illumination slot. And um, I'll get you that number here in a minute. But this is the easiest way I found to do a remote wire without cutting anything or having to pull way too many panels off of your vehicle and potentially break a whole bunch of things. But I'm going to show you exactly how I did that in a second. All right, so we're inside of our 2019 cruise. Uh, and your fuse panel is actually right here. And there's a spot to grab, and all you're going to do is literally pull out. Okay, that exposes your fuses and then it tells you down here 
which ones you know that you can potentially use and I believe it is uh, F31 I believe which is the 20 amp as you see here how I have the uh, rem wire plugged into the uh, 20 amp fuse and that is how I ended up running my rem wire so from there um, as you see I have it running down here now to access that panel you're gonna take off this side panel here which is relatively really easy so to give you a farther look it's the uh, passenger side little uh, console kick panel area all you're gonna do is back right up here is pull out and it has little clips and stuff in there and it'll come all the way out but as you can see the blue wire I have running down uh, all the way back and uh, yeah from there uh, it was a easy it's a easy replacement on to that's all you got to do is push it back on and it's like new so I ran this all the way back here behind the carpet as you can tell here and we're just gonna go ahead and tuck that back behind the carpet there and I ran it all the way across here to the uh, kick panel and from there I ran it down the uh, floorboard or the uh, kick panel area all the way past all the way into the backs back area and from there I ran it straight down all the way back to here then up into here underneath the back seat and then it'll go literally through an area here but through the uh, seat here you can actually push that all the way through from there but the best thing to do is to release your uh, back seat and you see I got the cheap model so I got the full fold down don't laugh at my hookup because uh, I didn't make it too pretty okay but uh, as you see the rem wire runs all the way back through here from underneath the seat into the uh, amplifier and I'm running a, uh, a Fosgate P300-10 which is just a 10 inch subwoofer with a built in uh, amp so um, that's pretty much my setup and everything that I got going on and I didn't have to cut any wires or anything of that nature so that was a nice easy install and from there to put your uh, fuse panel panel back in see it's got these uh, clips here at the bottom and the little holes right there on the left and right side just make sure that those go inside there like so and push back and up and then back in the pop pop your panel back in place I know in the end uh, this isn't the cleanest install ever but uh, now I got all of my wires in and hook to the side plus I used bungee cables to secure the sub in place so it doesn't move right inside here there are two separate holes on each side to where you can actually ground it or not ground it but uh secure the, the speaker in with a set of bungee cords I just put this one up top just to make sure in case it decides to fall backwards that it doesn't. Alright, well, I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching.